everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. So I wanted to share with you guys the few handbags, backpacks, and wallets that I have collected from thrifting. I'm gonna start off with the oldest to the newest, which you guys are probably gonna recognize a few from my other videos. So I'm gonna start things off with a backpack. I got this one right here. It's a little faded now, um, but I got this one at Play-Doh's a long time ago, maybe about two years ago. Uh, but I really like the colors. I, it's just screamed summer to me. So I picked this really nice Tommy uh, backpacks. This is one of my very first thrifting pieces. I basically use it for all my road trips. So it's very convenient and I love this backpack. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is this purse right here. The material on this, if you look closely, it has like stripes. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll just try to show you guys um, and I think it's very unique. It's not plain because it's just run by all these lines and it gives it some really nice texture. Texture, texture. It has that really nice gold there and it has this really nice strap. So it fits perfectly. Um, and yeah, so I got that one at Goodwill. I'm gonna say about a year ago. And I remember this one being about $6, so. Really cute, love it. And I like this one for going out, like nighttime going out. That's what I usually um, use this one for. This one right here, this always reminds me of like a little, like a little male man's bag. <laughs> I don't know, when I saw it, I thought it was very unique. It's like that faux leather, kind of shiny, and it has a lot of like wrinkles on it. <laughs> I would say, I would call them wrinkles. Um, but I just really like how convenient is it. it is. It has like a small pocket and then the inside, it just has one zipper. And yeah, it's very cute. It has like two little compartments and it's very simple, but stylish in my opinion. So I did have a phase last year where I was really into some early 2000s vibes with these kind of um, under the arm uh, bags, handbags. Um, this one's by Guess and it caught my attention because I just felt like it was so chic and edgy. The studs on this um, handbag I thought was kind of edgy in a way. Um, but yeah, I was really into like that early 2000s vibe. So I only collected this one because all the other ones I was finding weren't really my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, this one's my little early 2000s inspired handbag that I also thrifted for about $5 and I, it was also at a Goodwill. This next backpack right here I also got from Goodwill. And this backpack has probably been my most used out of all these because I would take it to concerts and festivals and stuff like that. Um, I have shown this one in my channel before, uh, but I just fell in love with, for, first of all, it's very compact. It's like a tiny little backpack. And then this buckle right here caught my eye. And I really love having this like hidden little zipper, you know, uh, pocket in the back. I remember going into a concert and they had a sign where they didn't allow any vlogging cameras or just like any cameras at all. So I stuck my camera in here. And so when they were like, oh, show me your bag, I was just like, you know, so I got away with it because they don't suspect anything to be in the back of the backpack. I don't know, but I just really love this backpack. It's like my festival kind of backpack and I kind of like how it's like a distressed type of faux leather. Um, but yeah, that's my backpack and of course I got it from Goodwill as well. I think this one was probably, I'm gonna say about six, six, seven dollars. So all the bags I've pretty much gotten for under ten dollars so far. So this bag that I got right here, I got, um, I think it was last spring or summer or actually it was like during fall when I found this yeah I found this one fall of last year and this one I also got from Goodwill but it was the OC boutique Goodwill all the other ones I believe yeah all the other ones have been regular Goodwills this one was the OC boutique Goodwill that I um love to go to which is located in Huntington Beach I just saw this bag and I freaking like I, don't know, I just remember seeing it and I was like, oh my god, it's so perfect because I love how the trimming is so black. Like, it's black as black <laughs> and I don't know, I just really liked it and it has like a back pocket as well right here um, and it does have three, yeah, like basically three compartments. 
So it's very old school. It has like the little miniature cell phone pocket here. And this like, I guess for like your credit cards and then the middle um, pocket. And then one last compartment with the typical uh, compartment there. Um, and this one, the brand just said MX. I'm not really sure where that's from, but it's, I just felt like it was very unused. Like it just feels super like new. Um, this one I did pay $10 for, so again, for a bag, come on. And then I like how it has the little studs back here, so you kind of just place it down and it's not really touching the floor technically. That's always good to have with a handbag. Uh, but yeah, this is like my summer, spring go-to handbag that I bought last year. Okay, so this little bag right here is like my nice little plaid bag. I also got this last fall and i love this buckle belt right here it's so cute and then of course like look how round is it like it's so perfectly round it's little compact and you kind of hold it like this and of course it has gold detailing which is a plus um and this little pocket back here is so convenient like for your phone so it's just like oh who texted me let me just grab my phone from this pocket <laughs> I don't know, I just really like that pocket for my phone for whatever reason. And I actually looked this bag up and it is um, sold on Target, target.com. Um, and this one I actually got for $15. All right, so I'm gonna show you the two wallets that I have purchased lately. I got this really nice coach wallet and it's so compact and small and it just it just screams like early 2000s to me. I've been using this wallet nonstop since I bought it because it's just so convenient. First of all, it has a little coin pocket thingy and then it has like for um it has a lot of compartments for your credit cards gift cards stamp cards whatever i don't know and i'm very old school and i like carrying some cash i don't have anything right now but i'm a little <laughs> just a little too much of a i don't know what i call it i'm a little too much of an organizer person so what i like to do is my back pocket i will have my big bills so 20s 50s hundreds and then in the front I like to have my single dollars so I like to separate my bills so it's more convenient and uh, yeah organized I don't know uh, but yeah I've, I've been using this wallet like crazy and again it's from coach and it's like just it's really old and I think that's why it's so perfect so I got this one actually for like six dollars as well so very cheap for a coach, a little cute vintage wallet. So if you guys watched my last video, you guys remember this handbag that I just got. I'm not gonna go too much into detail with it because I literally just announced it on my previous video. Um, but it's this one right here. I also got it from an OC Goodwill Boutique. At this one I got in Tustin. And it does have that tortoise shell print that I freaking love. Looks like that from the inside. It's nice and solid black, but it's just very cute and I'm freaking obsessing over it. So that's that. Last but not least, I actually just got this yesterday. I went to Play-Doh's and I got myself a new little uh, coach wallet, or it's more like your identification slash credit card wallet. I don't know, it's very convenient. Um, I did get this one because I can tie it onto my keys and it's just very convenient to have. Um, but it does have so that you can put your ID on this and then your credit cards or whatever. It just has the coach logo in the front and it's like leather, full leather material. And it's supposed to be like a wristlet, so it has this guy here. But this is like my newest purchase, which was yesterday and I need to fill it up. So I'm gonna basically go from this to this, or maybe I'll just have both in my purse. And if ever I just have to get down from the store real quick, I'll just kind of grab my two IDs and debit card or whatever and just put it in here and then go I don't know I'll figure it out but I I really felt like these are more convenient and I can tie it on to my keys so that's basically all the handbags that I have purchased um, by thrifting I really want to start this like thrifting series in my channel um, where I just show you guys in categories of the things I have thrifted throughout the years and I wanted to start off with my favorite one which is the handbag so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening or night and yeah thank you guys for watching I don't know what to say in the ending like bye adios farewell <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to pick something, but ooh, that's cute. And that's why I got it. <laughs>
I have like sunglass collection thrift from thrift. I guess I oh, ah. <laughs> Which one is next? Yeah. Anyways, peace. Doesn't say peace.